So it's an enormous shape. Ian's get them, got them working hard on this shape, and they are. They're improving every week playing it. Um, it's obviously it's a great bonus as well having Jack Moyle in the middle of the field. That's fun for Tuesday. Yeah, to Jack Doherty, and he sends it wide. The kind of player I think we've been crying out for for many seasons. As Kevin Teeley on the attack here, it's McPhillips once again. Horse back to Dalton. Being faced up by Dolan. Dalton. Right foot strike, but straight at the keeper in the end. But another good Kevin Teeley attack to Crowley. Switched right over the top. And Robinson. Oh, it's Jack Moylan, in fact. To Cleary now in the box. Cleary across goal. Oh, and oh, it was right in front of him. Jack, uh, Kyle Robinson. Dream opportunity there. Opened up by Moylan and Cleary out on the right side. You bet your life on Kyle Robinson finishing, especially with the form he's in. Corcoran. Slid off the head of uh, McDonald and it's into a very dangerous area. Here's Doherty, but a really important touch there by Hudson. Cleared into, uh, it's in the back of the net, only just, and Kyle Robinson has finally broken the deadlock here. It was wonderful, wonderful work by Jack Doherty. Absolutely fantastic out left. Jack's persistence there was very good. I think Kyle got a little bit of luck with the finish, but sometimes you need a little bit of luck. Yeah, it did take a big deflection there, but it was on target, so Kyle Robinson can safely claim his seventh goal of the year. Beanie dispossessed there, and Dolan can start an attack once again. That is onside for Jack Doherty. Has to check his run, though. To the byline. On his weaker foot, of course, has to come back inside. Connor Crowley coming for it. Jack Doherty will take on the shot himself. Ricocheting around the box once again to Cleary, and Doherty takes on the shot, and oh, oh just wide. Wexford really on top now at the moment, Ronan. Moylan, it's the second chance at this one, finds Doherty. Lovely back heel to uh, Moylan, and the referee's point is straight to the spot. And this is a vital moment for Kevin Teeley. I think Ronan, the Wexford front three are really causing problems now at the moment for the, for the Kevin Teeley back three. I think Jack's joining in with the two boys up front, Jack Moylan. We'll take you back to the challenge in just a minute, but first Jack Doherty here. Makes no mistake, and that's Jack Doherty putting Wexford two goals up. And Wexford have got one step on the way to the second round of the FAI Cup. Let's take you back for a look at that challenge. Fitzgerald showed great awareness, and he's picked out Jack Moylan, who's taken out of the air well. And it's again three on three. Moylan. Moylan goes himself. Jack Moylan, and it's three. Jack Moylan, what a finish. Absolutely superb, and he has made a huge difference to this Wexford side since coming in on loan. I think Ronan, he's deserved that for all his work that he's been doing around the pitch, and especially for winning the penalty, but that was a great goal. He knew himself if he passed it to Coyle, Coyle was offside, so he didn't. He ran on himself, and that was an excellent finish. Wexford have really taken over now in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, showed fantastic determination there, Jack Moylan. We've talked about him several times here on the stream. So here's Mitchell Byrne to get us started off. Sent straight into the middle. Moylan. Looking to play one through to Jack Doherty. It's gone underneath his feet for Doherty. It's through on goal. And it just took too many touches but wins the corner kick. Uh, can clean up. It's given straight to Daniel Dobbin though. Here's Harry Groom, the other substitute to Fitzsimons again. Low ball through to Doherty. Flag is up once again. It's in the back of the net, but it won't count. Flag was up. It was a great finish by Jack. Payne. Was Niall Barnes making a run out left. Ops for Barnes, and that's a great touch by Barnes into the box. Across goal, and I think it might have come off the post. Once again, I want to say a big thanks for joining us here on LOI TV. Loads of matches to choose from. Moylan gets a, a rub of the green there and can play it through for Darty. Flag up again for the third time. He has it in the net. But once again, it doesn't count. That one looked like Jack Moylan could have stayed on it and went himself. Yeah. Jack did look like he'd stepped offside. It's Niall Barnes there as well. Just three in the wall for Wexford. Plenty to aim at. Goes direct. And that's a great save by Corcoran. He's kept it in as well. And that's really good work. 
It'll come to Moylan. Moylan still making the run. It'll come to it for Robinson. And flag goes up once again. It's in the back of the net. But don't get your hopes of flags up. I think if Kyle had left that, I think Carl Fitzsimons might have been onside. Still with Tobin. Aspel again. Not finding an easy way forward now. Carpentini. Flag will stay down. Uh, he's through on goal. It's Ben Feeney. Oh, that's a super challenge by Co uh, Jimmy Corcoran. Super important challenge there. Well, I mean, sure, you'd love to score another three goals and make the scoreline uh, stunning. But Westford have done the professional performance. They've completely killed off this game in the second half. And that is just as satisfying, I think, if you're a Wexford fan. I think for Ian Ryan, it's the perfect performance.